you guys by any chance remember this, the first generation iPhone? Well, Apple made the announcement a while ago that it couldn't run iOS 4, so how am I supposed to multitask? I have an answer. Well, smartphones always seem smarter once they're able to run multiple apps at once, and this phone is infamous for not being able to do it all that well. And I have a solution for you guys that you've probably known about, but it has a nice little tweak on it that I just found out about recently, and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the iPhone. Okay, so here's the iPhone, first generation. And if you guys haven't known, you've been able to jailbreak iPhones. Um, if you haven't known that, then I'm not really sure how you've managed without even seeing a story. But anyway, um, you can jailbreak an iPhone, and the easiest way to do that now is jailbreakme.com. It's not what I've done here. Um, I've had this jailbroken for a long time. Uh, it's running, I believe, 3.1.3 or something like that. I forget, I forget exactly what it's running. But um, I found something recently that lets you kind of multitask a little bit better on it. You've always been able to have a, a, an app from Cydia or Cydia called Backrider, which lets you run multiple apps at once, which is right there. But it, it works very well, um, but there, it wasn't really that easy to app, to navigate uh, through your programs. So there's a little nice little app I found, which I'll demonstrate now. Alright, so here's contacts. I don't have anything in here, but I'm going to go ahead and run this in the background. So backgrounding is enabled by holding the home button, and there we go. Here's a graphing calculator. Just a simple little app. I'll go ahead and background that as well and I'll go into the web browser Safari and I'll, I have newegg.com loading up right here but you'll say well, I don't want to wait for this to load so I can shake it and there we go so you see that as a little expose thing and I can go to the calculator if I shake it again I can go to the contacts so here now that new eggs loaded up Here's a processor, which I was just kind of browsing. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home, the home menu now. And I'm going to go ahead and run Doodle Jump. Fun little game if you've never played it. Try to get the camera to focus there a little bit more. There we go. I just downloaded an update for today, which gives you a new C level. So I'm just going to go ahead and play that. I'm going to go ahead and lose on purpose here. Okay. And so let's go back to the web browser. I'll go ahead and shake it go back to the web browser. Now let's say I want to load apple.com. I want to wait for it to load so I can just do this and I can go ahead and play some doodle jump while it loads. Okay, I think the website might be loaded so I'll go ahead and pause it and go back to here. And it's actually still not loaded. Good thing I played a game. Okay, go ahead and go to the store. Meanwhile, I could go back to my graphing calculator if I have some hardcore graphing to do. Go ahead and plug an equation in. But I just realized I have a game, so why do math? Let's go ahead and resume some doodle jump. So you guys get the idea. I don't want this to be too long of a video, but this app is very cool to have. It's from Cydia. So I'm going to go ahead and lose here. Now what's cool is if you want to, um, sorry if I was out of frame there, but if I want to close them, you just hit the little X. App is closed. App is closed. No backgrounded apps. Touch to continue. Simple as that. Uh, it doesn't get much cleaner of an interface. Very Mac OS X expose like. It works very well as you just saw. Uh, not any lag between the programs. It, it probably eats up battery pretty good, but if, as long as you close them afterwards, it's it's a very good solution for the second generation iPhone which cannot run iOS 4 so um, that's basically it if you have any questions um, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter I'm at CPU kid um, in order to get this you have to add a repository to Cydia so I'll go ahead and I'll have that in, in the description which will be down there somewhere um, that's it like I said if you have any questions go ahead and hit me up on Twitter you can leave a message I'd greatly appreciate it go ahead and thumbs up we'll be friends thumbs down we'll still be friends but I'll have a grudge towards you so thanks for watching